thanks for joining us. I'm a bit quiet. Hang on then. Yeah, how's that? Is that any better? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Hi, Nels. How you doing? Uh, so this evening I'm going to be carrying on with uh, some brass scorpions. So I'm just painting these armor panels that we did the goldy color on last night. Oh, Pete the Priest's given us a uh, hydrate already. I'm on the red wine this evening. <laughs> I've only got what so much though and then we're on to water. I'm not an alcoholic. Can't, uh, can't neck a whole bottle of red wine in an hour. So, just uh, carrying on painting these armor panels for my uh, brass scorpion. So just blocking in the red after I've done the gold last night, the bronze. And then, uh, once I've done a few of these, we're gonna move on and we're gonna work on the next stage. Asmo says that he's teasing us. He feels like he's already won. All oh, right, okay, sorry. I do apologize. That's because I could only see part of the chat. So uh, what are you painting this evening? Yeah. We can't go diving straight in and giving them all the content in the first 10 minutes. I'm, I'm, I've told them I'm painting this brass scorpion. So we're going to... Uh, We're going to, uh, it's because I decided that I was, uh, <laughs> you're yeah, quite all right, quite all right for taking over the chat, it's fine. It's my fault because I wasn't paying full attention to uh, what was happening. So yeah, I, I brushed it on quite liberally to make sure that I got it into all the crevices and now we're just going to uh, edge in the gold the red into the into the edges there but i don't mind if you can see a little bit of the darker gold because it's a lot this bronze color is uh, definitely a lot darker than what it previously was which you can see uh, on here see that alongside that it's all right father well, we, we don't see you very often so you you chat away <laughs> yeah. so just going to do a little bit of this red and uh, on these couple of panels. And then we'll see if the ink wash that I did just before the stream is going to be dry. So I can start painting some of the cabling and the other bits and pieces underneath the body of the Scorpion. Because uh, that'll be a bit more exciting than watching me paint red for an hour, I'm sure. And uh, Mrs. MLG is this evening painting a squig. A uh, Warhammer squig. Classic metal squigs as well, I might add. Tony says he's painting the Jane Cobb Mini from the Wayward Eight for Wild West Exodus. Oh, I'm not familiar with that one. We'll have to, uh, we'll have to check that out. I missed a phone call from them today, unfortunately. I don't know what they were uh, ringing before. They didn't leave me a message. Good evening, uh, Weekend Geek. Go on then, tell me what it's called. Man, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I was expecting him to like type it straight away, you see. Yeah. Asma, what? Yep, that's uh, that's ridiculous. You're feeling all right, weekend geek. Have you just landed on your keyboard? And uh, is is it a land or something? Is is it something special or is it a legendary creature or what's uh, what's going on there? Uh, 
Mesmeran. Yeah, I don't know. Can't even like pronounce that. I'll wait till I hear somebody say it. So this is uh, what is it? Garnet red. This is Reaper Garnet red that we're using here. Get a nice dark base tone, and then we're going to lighten this up with uh, a few coats. And we get a bit of gloss over the top to make it nice and deep. Pete the priest is painting some rubble. to uh, change this setting again. We were, we were experimenting with the different settings on the microphone, so I'll try changing it. You know, am I quiet for everybody? Yeah. Or is it, uh, is it just Weekend Geek? Hasn't got his speakers turned up. Is that any better for everybody? I've just realized that I have this, this other setting on the microphone. Compared to Mrs. MLG, I am a mouse. Oh, okay. Is that, that's louder, Wiki D, is it? That's because my microphone's in front of my face <laughs> and I have to switch it on to talk and then switch it off again. Right, what am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, well, so I've done, done some red i need to i really need to paint more um armor panels i'll tell you what, i'll turn i'll turn it down to midway see how that works out hi, hi chunkster. chunkster oh you're stereo then <laughs> <laughs> i'll do one more we'll do one more and then we'll uh, then we'll check on the other the other bit and see how that's going so uh yeah what's everyone uh What's everyone been up to? What, what have you been up to, Mrs. MLG? I've finished adding the CAV, the Reaper CAV stock, so that's all on the website now. Awesome. And I've added some cool new busts from Max Minis. Yeah, they're, they look really good. They're pretty cool. Uh, what else have I added? I added some more Reaper stuff as well. That... Um, Thing that you're painting for your diorama yeah the uh ruined temple. ruined temple yep chunkster says love the new shop now that i've been in <laughs> oh yeah it was i got, good to I got see told you. you'd been in today <laughs> you rang me didn't you? you rang me and told me yeah yeah i'm sure there must have been other reasons you rang me as well but that was the main main thing just for that yeah weekend geeks been to the gym obviously because that's all he does uh, Pete the Priest, I've been painting and watching Twitch all day. I've been watching Twitch all day, as well as working though. <laughs> Tharavol's been sticking long needles in endless number of arms. Now, can we just point out that is um, what Tharavol does for a job, keeps us all nice and safe. Yeah. Well, maybe not this side of the pond, but uh, keeps everybody nice and safe. He's not just going around stabbing people. <laughs> Uh, have you got a link to the bus? I suppose so. Yeah, it's not every day I get asked for a link to my bus. No, I'll uh, I'll go find it. <laughs> I know, I know. I'm just trying to get the, uh, the comment out the head that was formulated. Oh dear. <sighs> yeah. So, yeah, uh, we've got some paintbrushes here <laughs> to, uh, to try out, but we're not going to try them out on stream, we're going to try them out, we're going to do a YouTube video where we try them out. We are going to show you all, so when I've finished painting this 
panel, uh, this this thing, we will show you and uh, give you an up close and give you what we think before we use them and then we will produce our little YouTube video and then we can share that with everybody uh, and tell you what we think about them. So Mrs. MLG is going to rate them and I'm going to rate them. We're both going to have a go and see what they're like. Because then you'll get two different opinions. My, me, who's a new painter and the boy over there who's been painting for a thousand years. <laughs> Still no good at it though. Well, I might be, uh, might have been doing it for like a long time, but no good. Still clumsy. Says the guy that everyone watching paint. I know. Hat me. <laughs> Gotta get the position. Gotta get the position just right. So like, you can't see on my bald spot. Is that why all these people are redeeming hat me so that they can't see your bald spot? Is yeah, that what it that's is? That's it, yeah, I think so. Oh, Goblin Squire's on one now. You've got to hydrate. Remember, I didn't do this to you on yours. <laughs> <laughs> and he's only got red wine as well. No, I have got some water. I will. I'll just, just get that little uh, dinky bit in there. That's it. Good, e good evening, Goblin Squire. How Wicked, are you doing? Wicked D says it gets too shiny in the light. <laughs> the Hogfather bus is tempting me to buy and paint for a Christmas present. Yeah, I yeah, like that one I like, too. I like all the uh, the Discworld yeah. ones. There's a couple that we haven't got, I think, as well. I need to. Oh, I uh... got that many presents. Can we Yeah, that looks good though. We've created Mrs. Mrs. MLG. Yeah, has... what's this we? Yeah, I suggested it. You know, you've got to stretch. Ah, so stretch. Ah. So I, earlier on, Mrs. MLG and I were discussing busts uh, of the miniature variety, and uh, we suggested, or we decided that we were going to have a busts category on the website so anybody that was particularly interested in painting busts could find it nice and easy and uh, pete says that you look like a drunk holiday maker with that hat and your glass in your hand that's that's fully my intention yeah that is, that is the hat that he wears on holiday as well it is this is my uh, this is my summer hat i did used to have a straw gardening hat that I used to wear, but seeing as we don't do any gardening anymore and it got a bit ropey and fell apart and, and I haven't replaced it. Plus it's almost the season where I'll just fit in with all the people on the, the main street in town anyway. Market was a bit of a washout today. Oh, it's not stopped raining. <laughs> you have got to feel sorry for them. It's yeah. been raining for two weeks. They've only just been able to go back onto the market and have their stalls and make their money, etc. And then it's just rained on them every single day. Yep. The uh, Rose Cottage Butchers. This is this is not particularly entertaining. Really, I'm sure for uh, many of you in chat, what I'm going to going to tell you anyway. So there's a <laughs> there's a like an independent butchers comes on the market quite close to the shop because our uh, our store is on King Street in town, which is like the market street. And uh, so the Rose Cottage butchers, other butchers are available, but uh, they sell a particularly nice item for just the minimum minimal price of one pound fifty but uh, I really like their bacon and cheese swirls and that was really nice and I was looking forward to having one of those for my lunch but they didn't have any so instead I had to have a well, I didn't have to have but I did have a plowman's pork pie which was absolutely delicious can heartily recommend that if you are uh, local 
and, uh, and heading down the market on a Wednesday. I'm not sure that they'd come on, on a Saturday, but definitely very nice. Plowman's pork pie, caramelized chutney, cheese and uh, pork pie, delicious. Anyway, enough of that. Let's talk about uh, talk about miniatures and painting. So, almost finished the first coat of red on this piece, and then we'll get the brass scorpion out, and we'll have a look underneath it and see if the ink wash has dried enough for me to handle it, and uh, we can get some of that pipe work done. Excellent. Let's get that dark spot sorted in the middle there. I'm not too worried about this being perfectly smooth coat because as I build up the layers, I want there to be a little bit of colour variation so that it adds a little more interest um, when you're looking at it. So long as it doesn't look too raggedy, it's, uh, and then it's going to get some weathering and stuff on it anyway once it's sorted doesn't want to look like it's just come straight out of the forges. Right. Let's see how the bad boy is doing. That looks alright actually, I think we might make a start. So, I'm going to start with some Vallejo Model Air Rust colour, nice metallic rust. Uh, it is an air paint, but I'm going to brush paint it on because I like the consistency. Some metallics I find are really thick, and uh, I don't don't rate them for brush painting. But we're uh, I really like these. I do really like these. So it's like a, a kind of coppery, dark copper colour, and uh, we're just going to use some of that. I've been talking nearly the whole time. Know, you'd, really. you'd be proud of me. Well done. Yeah. You actually didn't say anything and you'd be bothered about that. No, I was telling him about me uh, pork pie. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh dear. Right now. I thought you were going to show me brushes. Oh, I did. Back. I did say I was going to. Uh, yeah. I did say I was. Yeah. You know, but I pulled my paint out now. Harry Ball says that that's cool. Thank you. I think you it used better words than I just did. <laughs> so, have you talking to the Oh, No, I haven't, no. So, this is uh, my brass scorpion. And uh, Mrs. MLG got this for me as a birthday gift when we visited. Forge World a couple of years ago and uh, this was my birthday gift and it's taken me all this time to get it anywhere near where it like looking like it's uh, ever going to be finished but it's a beautiful model for Warhammer 40,000 and there, it's rules in the game are particularly epic. It's uh, it's an absolutely devastating war machine. It's very expensive points wise, so you would only really use it in big games, I think. It's uh, horrific, but I didn't really want it to be able to ever use it in a game. Got it, because I think it just looks absolutely fantastic. Ever since GW first uh, showed the model off, I, uh, I knew that I really wanted one. But it was it's an expensive model and a uh, bit of an investment really because the, the price has gone up by about 40 pounds or something since it first came out oh, sorry I do apologize all you can see is uh, all you can see is exhaust there isn't it let me just rotate it around a little bit yeah, so it's a, it's an epic model. I don't really intend on using it more, displaying it in the cabinet, but I just 
just think it's absolutely majestic. And uh, yeah, just wanted one because it's awesome, absolutely awesome. And fortunately, Mrs. MLG treated me because she loves me. Because she loves me. Oh. Oh, I don't know. Let's just get a bit of that on there. On the side. I know, I know Naz. Ima imagine sculpting that. This is uh, immense, isn't it? I, and this, I believe that this was done before they started wholesale using... Uh, Computer design, sorry if that was a bit loud for everybody, just bash the microphone. Yeah, I believe a lot of stuff is done uh, with digital sculpting at the moment. Well, in the current thing at uh, GW and Forge World, but this, this was uh, pre, pre digital, and it's absolutely epic. Absolutely, a level of detail in here with all these cables and things. Absolutely fantastic. Yeah, it's uh, yeah. There's a there's a few wicked d. There's a few little dudes trapped in there. They've uh, been absorbed by the angry machine. absolutely amazing I love it and it's it's because it's such a, a huge model that I've really put off doing anything with it for so long so I'll get like do a little bit and then I think oh is it gonna is it gonna look all right maybe I should maybe I should wait till I've had a bit more practice but I just needed to crack on with it yeah So what's everybody else been up to then? What exciting things have they done this week or are planning next weekend? Is it bank holiday next weekend for us? What? Yes, uh, this Is weekend, it? isn't it? Well, oh, don't start that again. The weekend mm, of which coming, is coming up. The coming weekend. Not is... tomorrow, the day after. The Saturday after that. Yeah. yeah, the coming weekend is bank holiday. So Monday is bank holiday Monday. Open? We are open. Yeah, Mighty Lancer Games will be open for business on Bank Holiday Monday. Yeah, it's just a random bank holiday. I don't know what it's for. What's it for? Uh, I don't know. We have all is sorts it, of random it, things. Day? Yeah. Is this May Day? It might just be oh, a day in May. Yeah. <laughs> no, there'll be a, there'll be a proper reason. <laughs> it's just that I don't know what it is. <laughs> Yeah, we we will be open for business. Is it? No, I don't know. So if May Day is at the beginning, what's this one for? Hey, Gigi, looking at the hey. new GW brushes. You've tried those. What? No, we haven't tried them yet. He he tricked everybody into saying that he was going to try them in a minute, and then he forgot. But we're not trying them on screen, we're just going to look at them and then we're going to try them out properly uh, and do a video and so we can show you all our thoughts um, more in depth because we've not tried them yet. So he's just, he's just brought some home for us to look at and go, hmm, yes, they're white. <laughs> Gigi will like what you're painting, I think. Why? Because he likes uh, likes those. Yeah, hit me. 
Right then. How's that brass looking? Under there. Let's tilt it back the right way. I think that's looking uh, pretty cool. Hi, Reese. Hi, Reese. How you doing? So I'm just edging this, uh, these bronze, coppery uh, bits out under here, and then once I've done these, we will have a look at fancy dancy new white paint brushes. I am, uh, I'm excellent. Thank you, excellent. I've been uh, thinking up devious schemes all day to uh, stuff to get you to do at work tomorrow. <laughs> I, don't, I, ha I, don't, I haven't. I haven't really. I don't think that any of us would think that you could actually think up a devious scheme. Yeah, That's my department. So, Mr. MLG lied and is now trying to blag that it was intentional to point us to YouTube. No, no, we were never using him. Sneaky man, and ooh, what are you painting? I'm painting squigs. Well, a squig. Yeah, well, we do normally send him up and downstairs all day, Pete. He's younger than us. <laughs> and, and, and a lot more energetic. <laughs> no, you, you told me you came home the other day and you told me that Reese had done an awesome job sorting all the Reaper out. I did, yeah. yeah. And I said to you, Did you tell him that? And you went, Yeah. It didn't sound really convincing though. So that there you go, Reese. He told me you'd done an awesome job, just in case he forgot to tell you. <laughs> I did. I, I said good job. <laughs> I did feel like Will Smith in Hancock when I said it. Though. You like? <laughs> well, anyway, let's let's just move on. Let's move up. Right then. So, brassy bits. I'm going to leave these ones at the back because I've just uh, washed that area again. So I'll, uh, I'll come back to those a little bit later on. So we'll come look at paintbrushes and then we'll come back and we're, I'm going to touch in these uh, metal bits here. Oh, Reese says, wasn't a hard job. No, none of the jobs are hard, are they? Yeah. They're not exactly mentally tasking. <laughs> They're just sometimes yeah. laborious. And have we finished it? No! No, that job still needs doing. No, I've been doing other stuff today. But, uh, Might get a little bit of it done tomorrow. I don't know. We shall see. What happened then? I don't know. Something, something weird happened. It looked like I'd, like, dribbled. But I definitely... <laughs> Because I was watching myself on the thing. I took my paintbrush out of my mouth. I don't know whether it was just the metal bit, but I, I promise you everybody. Dribbling, yeah, I promise you, I didn't dribble. You are strange. Was, are you uh, picking your own hat now? Incredibly... No, I was going to let you pick, oh. but I was just taking that one off in preparation. Dribble. Yeah. yeah, I'm not a dribble, uh, not a dribble face. Mm -hmm. There we go. Super. Oh, excellent. Hat me. Yeah, that's what I was going to do. I, was, I couldn't remember for a second. I'd, I'd <laughs> yeah. Right then. Here we go. These. This is a selection. So we've got a large dry. So let's take the caps off. So we've got a large dry. Posture check. Mm. Yeah. Uh, so this is very similar to. I've, I've got a, We've got a large dry, and oh, no, I've got a medium dry. Have you got a large dry? Yeah, it's not like it's, uh, yeah. yeah, okay. So here we have uh, black, like the regular large dry brush, and the new white brush, the STC synthetic brush. So the other's not synthetic? Well, I always thought that they were. <laughs> GG says such a bright white it burns like looking into the sun I know it's very it's strange isn't it I don't know how they're going to handle paint if I'm honest now I thought that these uh, original Citadel ones 
were synthetic and it was only when you get to the artificer xs uh, and x and oh, xs s and m brushes that they were um, like sable or whatever hair and i thought that these were some kind of synthetic well maybe they are maybe they're not maybe they're not and then uh, gw have produced these possibly in response to the um, pressure from from media and what have you yeah oh, no i'm not i'm not very good at this like you know you're feeling all right yep you're dribbling all over yourself. i'm not dribbling you don't, you don't know I'm what's going dribbling. on no dribbling Shall I, do I have to take you to bed and like you know tuck you up you give you a nice hot drink hey <laughs> yeah uh yeah so it looks smaller doesn't it it looks does look smaller the the ferrule bit is ever so slightly smaller i don't know if you can see lay it over the top ever so slightly smaller on there and obviously the bristles are uh, a lot more compact so this is i don't know if this one's ever been used actually by the look of it it looks like it's brand new yeah, I, I just take care of my brushes okay. oh, right, right. Uh, yeah i don't know we'll uh, we'll pr try them out on uh, on our youtube it's really hard, video though, isn't it? why is it really hard a paintbrush. Yeah, I don't know. It's like they're re really, really stiff. I don't know what they uh, what they're going to be like. So let <laughs> let's have a look. Let's have a look at another one. So we've got a uh, a medium dry. Now I, I have got a medium dry brush here to compare that against. And again, uh, just a little bit smaller. Now mine has been used a fair bit, but. Well, the uh, the bristles are much smaller, and again, so so stiff, so stiff. Uh, I don't know. I just feel like it would flick paint everywhere if you uh, if you got too much on there. And and then the <laughs> the caps, the brush caps are uh, you've got to flatten them out to be able to get all the bristles inside there. Look. Three times I've, uh, I've caught bristles in there. Trying to get it in back in, right? And then what else have we got? I'll, I'll just grab a few to uh, to try out. So we've got a la medium layer, a small layer, and a small base. And uh, just it just seems so weird because they're completely white. It's so weird, but they're quite quite tough. So once you've you've kind of disturbed the point, the bristles seem oh. to do whatever they want. According yes. to GW's website, the large base brush, because that happens to be the one I was looking at, is composed entirely synthetic bristles for durability. So, so they are synthetic. So right. I understand even less now. Yeah. You've got. <laughs> and you've got to uh, stretch. Stretching makes me yawn. Mm, my uh, my chat's frozen. <laughs> yeah, so uh, so they're really cool looking. Anyway, that one's already had its hairs trapped in the uh, in the zip. Goodness. So. So now we're going to uh, crack back on and do a bit of painting. <laughs> I'll leave them there so you can see them, my darling. Oh, thanks. Thought you, thought you might like that. Thanks a lot. I can see some yeah. paintbrushes. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, I don't know whether they're going to going to stain or or what when we start using those. But um, where's me? Need to get the scorpion back. Okay. Yeah, I'm absolutely fine. Why am I, am I struggling? Yeah. I don't know. Stress. Is that what it is? Yeah. What exciting things can you tell me in stress? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'm looking. I'm looking forward to. Uh, 
I'm looking forward to new dire wolves from GW turning up so I can have a good nosy at them and see what they're like. They look really cool. Some of the new vampire figures. New start collecting soul bite bl soul blight grave lords. Oh, yep, yeah, that's it. Can't speak. I've had half a glass of wine wrecked already. Uh, start collecting soul blight grave lords. It's got a new white lord figure on uh, a skeletal steed in it, and it looks pretty epic. Along with a whole load of grave guard and some skeletal horsemen. That looks like a good box set. I was hoping because the uh, the new Kragnos guy oh, I've just knocked it again. The new Kragnos character that they've done for Age of Sigma. I, I quite like the look of him. I think he's too expensive, if I'm perfectly honest. But uh, I think, do think he looks cool. I was hoping. I have an Iron Jaws army for Warhammer Age of Sigma. And I was hoping that part of it might be some new models to go for the Iron Jaws because I think they're very limited in terms of units. And uh, disappointingly, no new minis. So I'm kind of hoping that whatever new army is revealed on Saturday with the Age of Sigma starter set will be something that I can, because apparently it's going to be a destruction army, is something that I can combine with my Iron Jaws just to add a little bit of diversity. You maybe get a little bit more No, I need to finish my mind. Don't like my screen. Why not? Because it looks rubbish. Yeah, that's weird. Mm -hmm. the, yeah. The, yeah. <laughs> it's only a little bit left, I might as well finish that off. Oh dear. It's on to water now though. On to water now. Yeah, I'm hoping that it's going to be something compatible. So I've, I've seen talk on some... Uh, rumour sites and, and groups online where people are talking about it being some kind of hobgoblin faction or something which I think would be quite cool. Some new new models. Might be something new and exciting. It's got to be something reasonably intelligent. I've seen, seen a Theory that they were going to introduce Tyranids into uh, Age of Sigma or a Tyranid like race to get a bit of um, what's the what's the right word like a like a cross pollination between the two game systems 40k and Age of Sigma is it oh yeah. I just thought everybody might want to see the uh, the extra detail in there. Yeah, yeah, in that one claw. Uh, yeah, but I think they're talking about these little statues that are springing up all over the realms, uh, like worshiping Kragnos. So I can't see that it's going to be a Tyranid style faction. It's got to be something with a reasonable amount of intelligence to be able to construct little shrines and things. GG says, any news on the Green Stuff World series, Silver series coming back in? Or do you need to wait until a certain amount of stock before being able to restock? No, nope, we try and restock all the time. Yeah. It's just not getting to us. There's so many problems with the getting it from overseas and all these container ships, etc. It's just not arriving. Yeah, and, and the, the amount of stuff that we have ordered from Green Stuff World is significant, let's just say that. So I think that that is a uh, component to the problem because we've ordered so much gear rather than it just being able to be put on a plane or whatever. Uh, and what I did joke last time, and I probably should have done it, 
is uh, that it would have been easier for me just to get in the van and drive and go and get it. Me and Mrs. MLG go and have a have a holiday in Spain for a day or two while we go to Alicante and pick it all up. Well, you'd have to go on your own. Well, oh, because yeah, you haven't got a passport. <laughs> well, you'd have to get one. But then we're in the middle of a global pandemic and we wouldn't be doing that, would we? No. So... Uh, To say we've not even been to the cash and carry yeah. down the road because it's too far, yeah. <laughs> then you know I don't think it fits. Then, but that's that's the problem, JJ. We have ordered, uh, and it's just not getting here. Oh, it'd have to be a very big seat to hide me under that. Peter Burns, Peter Burns says, hide me under the seat. It'd be a big seat. Like, oh, why, why is that seat so much higher than the rest of the bar? Mm. <laughs> It'll probably be alright getting there because I don't think they worry too much about who's leaving the country, do they? It's, uh, it's more for getting back in. Okay. Yeah, sorry. Come on, you must have bothered Yeah, we've, uh, we've got Rubicon yesterday. They've got some fantastic new. I don't know if anybody's a uh, World War II war gamer. In, uh, in the background there but we've got the awesome looking uh, new King Tiger kits from Rubicon that are fully detailed on the interior as well as the exterior There's two different versions one with the Zimmerit coating and one without so it's a, a, a special kind of like paste stuff that they brushed onto the tanks to supposedly stop it being uh, affected by magnetic mines, I believe. And it gave it a kind of distinctive wavy pattern. So a lot of companies make kits with or without. The, uh, yeah, that's the problem, Gigi. We, we really like the Green Stuff World stuff. There's all sorts of... Um, bits and pieces in there that we really like but getting it is just a bit of a nightmare at the minute yeah. you've got to hydrate you now onto water and uh, Reese would like you to swap your hats please Excellent. oh we got that today that's a that's a good one so What's that? so uh, Mrs. MLG has added these uh, these new busts and also some nice golems from TT Combat. There's some ice golems and some rock golems. And then we've also had added the uh, Waterdeep Dungeon and the Mad Mage board game. Sorry, I apologise. Uh, so the Dungeon and the Mad Mage board game that we've... Uh, I'm, I don't know if we've ever had that before, but... Certainly, it wasn't uh, wasn't listed. Uh, what else have we had? Oh. Well, scroll down with me and uh, see what else is on here. I know, I know. I'm just having a just having a moment. Oh, some new card sleeves for our uh, card gaming fans. We've added a couple more things into our bargain basement section, where uh, things have come with slightly damaged boxes. Uh, yeah, we've got some new War Lord Games epic American Civil War black powder uh, items. The new got some bunny ones. ears somewhere, Gigi. I don't know where they are. I might be able to find him some bunny ears. What What would you like to see, Asma? Maybe like <laughs> <laughs> You are so mean to me. I could do just dry brush all this. Mm -hmm. That would be that would be a big. Pete cheat. says that you look lost. That's his normal face, Pete. Uh, 
and I normally look lost. Mm, I don't know. More than normal, apparently. Don't know what else for it to tell you. Is that is that all right, uh, Asma? Or do you want me to show you on the screen? Because I can do that as well. It's entirely up to you. If anybody wants to see anything from the website, I can show them. If anybody wants to ask my little lost boy over there anything, uh, then, yeah. then, then, then they can. <laughs> me. <laughs> maybe we should. Uh, maybe we should have as a as a. Lance a rewards thing, ask a question. But people can just ask you a question anyway. Well, that's true. Uh, yeah, you know. Always open to questions of, uh, you know, hobby related, probably. <laughs> Not just anything in the world. I don't, I don't think you'd know what answers to all questions. We give it a good go. Yeah, just try. What's going on there? Don't know, we'll worry about that later. I'm not doing very well tonight, am I? No. <sighs> You'll have to do a bit of talk. <laughs> oh, I know. You're not even on camera. I'm trying. I'm trying. It's hard to uh, hard to stay in the middle when it's something so big. I do apologise, everybody. How? Uh, <laughs> Marbles would perk us all up, would it? Is that what you think? How is everyone getting on with the Reaper Challenge League stuff? I need to finish. I need to finish Bellacore so I can submit him as my freebie. And uh, I also need to finish my wizard so I can submit him as my player character. Un oh. Unless I submit the, my Knight of the Realm as my player character that we started painting on Monday. I could, I could do that, couldn't I? That'd, that'd work. I was going to submit the, the wizard, but I guess I could finish him and submit him next month. That's that's permissible, isn't it? If you started painting the mini and you... Yeah. Yeah. So I'm just using here, we are using some Dark Star Molten Metals uh, Old Pewter, which is a nice kind of dark gun metal style colour. It's a, a beautiful thin paint and uh, the only thing that's kind of stopping us from stocking these. We've now found somewhere that does stock them. The only thing that's stopping us from stocking these in the shop is the ability to um, the ability to be able to display them somewhere, how on the shop floor, because they don't make a, or don't have a retail display that's uh, able to display more than one of each colour. Yeah, you'll get it, you'll get it done by then, Nazma. He probably won't get Bellicor done. What's, what are you Bellicor for? You're free, babe. You'll never get that done by Monday. Would anybody like to play marbles? We could do marbles. Marbles. GG sounds good.
see who can get knocked off a seemingly straightforward track <laughs> this evening. Now we've figured out that those little bobbly bits bounce up and down and flick you off. Everybody else probably knew that already. I've not noticed it though. Okay, switching over now. Put your exclamation mark play in if you would like to play. Exclamation mark play if you would like to play. Thank you. That was good, that. Yeah, it's like a proper, proper Tannoy announcement. Did you? Yeah. Let's, uh, let's wash my paintbrush out and I'm ready. Excellent. And we're off. Pete the Priest in the lead. Chunkster, Mighty Lancer, getting knocked out of third place. Oh, back in third place. Pete the Priest winning. Chunkster in second. Goblin Squire winning. Mighty Lancer winning. That's where we want to be. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, yeah. Reese is winning. Goblin Squire is winning. So it's Princess Ariel that everyone has a every marble and then we race around the track. <laughs> Come on, you can yeah. do it. Okay, so everybody has a marble. If you click ex put exclamation mark play in at the beginning, uh, then you get a marble on, the, and then everybody gets released, and the marbles roll down the track randomly uh, down the track, and there's no way that you can influence, as far as we know, what's Not on uh, screen. yeah, what's what's going on whatsoever. So your marble races down the track and goes through all the obstacles some of which flip you off the track and some of which just like spin you around and around like this thing that we're going to get in through and then uh, somebody wins moxie says no i've missed my what's up to goblin square where are you going goblin i don't know square? don't know but we're winning Yay! that's that's what needs to be happening we won yay is that the first come time on. we've ever won come on goblin square yeah. come on goblin square Come on! Yay! Rigged! It's rigged! <laughs> it's not rigged! I can't rig it! Yay! We won! We won! <laughs> whoop, whoop. I can't rig it! I, I have to just follow along the yeah. screen! <laughs> Are you going to do a better commentating if we have another go? I'll try. Exclamation mark playing if you want to play, it's just for fun. Exclamation mark play if you want to play. It's really rubbish though because some people are like behind, aren't they? So yeah. sometimes they miss it. But you know, it's only there to play. Right, are we ready? Everybody ready? Let's go! Ten races this time, cool. So, uh, I've uh, <laughs> oh, not, so not, not seen that track, this track before. I don't like this track, I can't make it work. No, I think you are coloured, Gigi. I think you are coloured. You've got like a little tail. Mm. I can't make it go down. Ooh, I, don't like, I don't like this track. <laughs> I can't follow it. Yeah. Your little tail's hindering you though. Yeah, what's going on there? Wicked D's winning, closely followed by Goblin Squire and Pete the Priest. Wowzers. Yeah, Look wow. at that. That's, uh, that's a bit that's uh, complex. complex. Wicked D is winning by a solid, yeah, solid, uh, solid what? It flips you off into a target. That's insane. 
I want, well, I wasn't expecting that. Oh, look, Chunk's the one. Chunk's. Let's, let's see if we can zoom in on the, on JJ. Oh, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna run out before I get to it. Oh. Oh. Well done, Chunk's there. Sorry, unless I'm rubbish right now. Talk to you. Awesome, you're coming back to me. Yeah. Oh, right then. So, uh, where were we? So we've done a little bit of the metal. Done uh, done a bit of this metal underneath here, if you can tell, just on these like barrel bits and on these guns. I'm going to leave this edges. Uh, this front edge is going to stay black for the moment, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to wash that quite heavily with some uh, dark blue and maybe even a little bit of purple to make it look as if that's kind of burnt because these two bits here if you can see uh, these these two like cannon things so this is a main battle cannon that it uh, it fires and then these two pieces underneath are supposed to be like flame cannons that uh, incinerate so that's what these tanks are so it, it hi crafty incinerates the uh, the enemy as they get up close and then it's got these huge claws so what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint a bit of the brass uh, just before we finish on the claws so we can uh, crack on with those so let's uh, let's get some get some brass or bronze and then I'll show you. so these huge claws go at the front of the beast yeah so they uh, they join into that kind of section there that <laughs> that's just a massive thing yeah so oh, yeah big big scorpion tail in the, uh, in the camera. so these huge claws go in there like that and uh, and they're designed to like rend your enemy vehicles and what have you this thing's absolutely devastating on the turn it charges into the enemy with these huge kind of like chain fists on the front Although it is a massive target and uh, just draws loads of attention. <laughs> so, but like I said, I've got no real intention on ever using this in a game because because uh, it's such a monster. Right, let's take the hat off. We'll definitely have that bad boy on for a minute. So let's uh, let's move around. Let's get a bit of this on. We're going to finish kind of on time, or well, mostly on time, because uh, I've got some I've got some work to do uh, this evening. I've got a couple of uh, things I need to sort out for some customers. So. Hat me. So let's uh, let's get this done. So again, not being too neat about the. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> about the metal just want to get it kind of like all into the recesses because uh, that's what I've messed up the first time around ah. this is my favorite hat mm. I did yeah oh. see you later Faribol thanks for uh, thanks for coming thank you very much good to see you and we're, we're looking forward to seeing what happens in the next Twitter poll. Oh, yes. Yeah, for Tharavol and uh, friends. Looking forward yeah. to that one again, aren't we? Definitely. That's right, Gigi. A shiny hat with a unicorn on it. I can't remember now. I can't remember now. I was going to say how much I enjoyed uh, Tharavol's last little uh, contest paint or challenge with the Nagas and uh, look forward to seeing what wins an MLG special yep it was uh, it was little misses but it doesn't really fit her anymore so it went in this hat box <laughs> and as you can tell therefore doesn't really fit Mr MLG either <laughs> If only it was bigger. 
I could wear it to work every day. That would draw some strange looks from the, uh, the kids trying to flog everybody energy outside. This brush is too wrecked to do this. I need a, need a better brush. Thought I'd use that one because it was a bit mashed up. But it's too too mashed up. Is that one? Let's go back to using the one I was using before. So uh, if, you, if you're not already a member of our Discord, please join our Discord. You uh, will find that it's very relaxed, very family friendly and uh, full of very knowledgeable people who might be able to help you if you've got any modeling gaming painting related questions and uh, it's entirely free if we bought mr mlg a shiny hat with ears he would wear it as part of his work uniform mm. he might wear it on yeah. stream yeah i uh, I haven't worn my red t-shirt to the shop yet. Thanks, Goblin Squire. But, Take care. But I will be at some point in the not too distant future. Bye, Goblin Squire. I don't even, didn't even uh, notice that there was some football on, if I was honest. Yeah, it's more than I De definitely, definitely some pointy green felt ears. Do you know, I once tried to make him um, a goblin hat, but uh, it didn't <laughs> it didn't go very well. Let's, let's just put it that way. Um, but that would have been cool. Did it end up as a dice bag? It, no, it was that bad. It, it just ended up as some scraps in the cupboard. <laughs> the other problem is that uh, Mr. MLG has a... A larger than average head, <laughs> don't you, my darling? It's to contain all my brains. It is contain all that brain. That is what it's for. I had him a hat made at Christmas, didn't I? Yeah. Like a, a wool Christmas hat, but it was blue and white for no, for no reason, no no football reason. Um, then I thought it might not get as quite as mucky. And I asked the lady to make it in like a really large size and she went, oh, oh that'll, that'll be far too big. The wool will stretch, etc., etc. Anyway, she made it as she, as she uh, more thought being the, the crafts person and then it didn't fit, did it? So we had to get, <laughs> to get it made yeah. bigger. And she was like, really? I was like, uh, yes, his, his, his head's a little large. I've got a massive heed. <laughs> <laughs> but like you said, it's all those brains that you've got in there. Yeah. That's what it is. It's all those brains. Super. Super. Loving uh, If you if you haven't uh, heard me previously on the stream saying how good it is. Vallejo model colour bronze is a fantastic, fantastic compliment to Vallejo model colour brass and these are uh, the colors that i now use to paint virtually all gold you should uh, if you're in need of new paints to paint your gold i heartily recommend both of these colors they are awesome why does it It looks really good. So, I, can I show everybody? No, it looks really bad. It looks like I don't know, like I'm three, and it's my first paint job. <laughs> I don't. I just do it. I'm just not, you know, doing very well. I think that's maybe I've caught whatever it was that you had earlier on. <laughs> but this is, yeah, awful. <laughs> truly, truly awful. Yeah. Did, does anybody to... else get? Get minis like that where they're painting and they just think, "Wow, this is terrible." <laughs> Every time I paint one, that's like how I feel about it. And then you make me feel a bit better by telling me it looks alright. Right. 
Uh, I was going to say that earlier on today I redeemed myself a little with uh, my recent failures for trying to remember Reaper model numbers. Because a customer came in asking for a Demogorgon and uh, I remembered the code for the Reaper Demonic Lasher off the top of my head. Which isn't even a Bones Mini, I'm like not as good with the metal figures but I remembered it and uh, we managed to find it for them. It's, uh, it's a really nice figure, but there is actually a uh, super nice Demigorgon mini coming in the not too distant future. Uh, or hopefully not in the too distant future. Wicked D says, I blobbed grey on my giant's head. Is it still wet? Just put a wet paper brush on it and gently wipe it away. How are we doing for time? Oh, we've run over. I said we weren't going to run over and we've run over. Yeah, rubbish. I do apologize, everybody. We're, uh, we're going to just carry on until, like always. carry on until, you know, like always, until I've painted this claw. That's oh, what we're, have to paint over it then. That's what we're going to do. What are you messing at? How, uh, how much of its head have you, have you done? That's right, extra time, Crafty Gobo. Extra time to talk about hats. Yeah, hats. I won't. Mm. I'd love to find you some more hats. Yeah, thanks, Peter Priest. <laughs> I need to find my pirate hat. We'll have to. Uh, you have to paint over it. We'll have to do a, a tour of charity shops. See you later, Reese. Bye, Reese. See you tomorrow. So I'm just going to finish this. Uh, finish this bronze, and then uh, we'll see. How much of a squig Mrs. MLG has finished? Yeah, it's rubbish. Why are you laughing at it? It's horrible. Yeah, because it won't be. It'll look awesome, but you're not letting me see. It genuinely doesn't. I bet it does. I saw earlier on Chunkster said that he'd uploaded the last of his Batman figures into the Discord page. I need to get in there and check those out. No we, no, we didn't really have time to uh, show it because he had to uh, go and look after his missus rather than leaving her outside in the cold. Because I think she decided that she wanted to wait outside. Anyway, the, uh, so he's going to come back, I think, and uh, scope out the bargains. Yeah, I missed, a, uh, I missed a phone call from the people that make the uh, MDF stuff that Tony's been doing, the uh, Dunn's Mouth stuff today. And uh, they didn't ring back and they didn't leave a message, so I don't know. You know, that was like a. We know you've been talking about our stuff. Bye, sir. <laughs> I don't think they'll know that you've been talking about Yeah, you never know. You never know. What else? Have I, what else have I got to tell anybody? Um, ah, I see. So, no, Chung Chungster, the idea was I was going to look in the store while she walked around the market, but the lack of stores cut it short. Yeah. She should have come in and got warm. <laughs> <laughs> Spent, uh, spent a bit of time on the shop floor today. I don't normally uh, get to spend that much time on the shop floor. I've spoken to a, uh, a 
a lot more customers today than I normally do in the course of a day, which has been nice. Wow, so that's what's wrong with you, you're all talked out. Yeah, probably. Sam got very excited, didn't he? The mansions in that room back in. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's uh, a popular game. And, uh, sorry, recently, I don't know whether it was yesterday or the day before, um, got a copy of the first edition of Mansions of Madness off one of our other members of staff. But now we've got the second edition of Mansions of Madness and he's tempted, I think, to add to his board game collection. He's tempted, he spent all day talking about it. <laughs> It's, uh, it's because you can play so low against the app. Yeah. I think, isn't it? Yeah, he was telling me that he was going to uh, do some streaming for possibly this evening. So uh, if, if Resident Evil is your kind of thing, then obviously after we finish streaming, because you won't want to leave while we were still while we were still prattling on. It's not a family-friendly stream, though. Then uh, you can check out the Weekend Geek, and uh, he's going to do a speed run attempt, I believe, through the latest Resident Evil game. Yeah, not friendly, not family friendly. Not family friendly. No, it's. Uh, I don't know. How would, how would you describe it? It's definitely an adult-themed game, isn't it? With lots of stabbing. Not <laughs> yeah, I've not. Uh, I think the last Resident Evil I played was that one that we had for the Wii, where you shot the things. It was more like an arcade shooter than a puzzle game. Yeah, we had the gun, didn't we? Well, yeah. But it was uh, well. I don't know if the, I don't know if the game was rubbish. The game was probably great, but I am rubbish at computer games, so I wasn't very good at it. Wasn't very good at it. I was I was thinking today because uh, I was talking to uh, Dan, at, uh, the weekend geek, and uh, I was saying. Thanks, Foxy. See you later. Bye. Crafty says that's the last one that uh, Crafty played too. RE405. Yeah, something like that. It was when it was still. I understand that they've changed the storyline now a bit, or they've like re restarted the franchise. So you don't play as a a cop in Raccoon City anymore. You uh, there's different kind of settings and things. No, uh, I guess. I guess. So um, yeah, I was saying to saying to Weekend Geek that I haven't played Zombies on Xbox for them. Yeah, when we uh, we did watch him playing through, is it Resident Evil Seven, the one where? Like basically stuck in a house. You play the whole thing through a house. Excuse me. Play the whole whole game through this house scenario, and there's this guy who, no matter how many times you, excuse me, kill him, just keeps coming back. He set him on fire at one point, and then he like just kept coming back. Yeah. I uh, I didn't get it. I didn't get it. How's it going, my lovely? Okay. Stop asking, shall I? Yeah. So while I was, if you're still uh, continuing, then I was just going to paint a little bit more red on it while we. Uh, now I've done the gold, I was going to do some red.
Uh, no, I'll just, well, should we call it a night? I need to do me. Uh, I need to do my homework anyway. Don't I? So we could call it a night if you like. <laughs> oh, I am. I am rubbish this evening. I apologise, everybody. So let's give you a quick breakdown of uh, of what's coming up in the not too distant future. So we've got. Uh, Sunday, Skyrim Sunday. In fact, I'm just going to put that back. Well, I'll tell you. So, Skyrim Sunday at 4 pm. And then uh, on Monday, we're going to finish painting this chap, the Knight of the Realm. And uh, it's. Uh, let's say, yes, we are. So, uh, we're going to finish painting this chap. And then I'm going to submit him because it'll be the last day of the month. So I think that we'll still be good for submissions for the RCL. Because well, you know more about it than me. They closed, they closed it early, didn't they, the uh, last month? You could submit. Yeah. Anyway. So, uh, anyway, we're going to finish this guy. We're going to submit him for the RCL as my player character. So he's Monday. And then Tuesday, when uh, Mrs. MLG and I do a joint stream, then... Uh, I think I might, because it'll be the start of a new month, so I will be starting on uh, some new funky minis, and uh, I think on Tuesday I might do finish this chap, and then I can get him submitted for my player character for next month. And then uh, on Wednesday we will be back to painting a bit more of the Brass Scorpion, this big bad boy, and uh, see if we can get that moved along a little bit. So, thank you everybody for coming. We are, we'll draw to a close uh, and, uh, and, and call it a night. Thanks everybody for joining us and hopefully we'll see you on Sunday for Skyrim Sunday. Well, it might be a little bit more Thanks everyone. <laughs> Bye. Bye.